Welcome to the spectacular Chateau de Pernon, an 18th century jewel in the heart of the French countryside. When we found her in 2020, she lay in peril. Share our journey as we battle to save her, uncovering her secrets, sharing her past, and working hard to secure her future. This is the Grand Escalier of Chateau de Pernon and it leads us to the premier etage or the first floor of the chateau and it's here that we find the principal bedrooms and the reason that I'm bringing you up here today is to show you the very first bedroom and bathroom that we've finished restoring here at the chateau. But before we share with you our journey of restoring these two rooms, let's have a look at the condition these rooms were in before we started the work here over six months ago. So we are two months into the restoration work on the premier etage bedroom and bathroom and as you can probably guess I'm in neither of those rooms right now. I'm actually in a small entresol which sits underneath the bathroom and in the 18th century this would have been a room for the domestic staff and it still has a very loud little bell that can be rung from the bedroom underneath. But the reason that we're up here is for something far more sinister. In fact, the toilet and the bath that are in the bathroom above us here have been leaking over a long period of time and caused the huge floor joists underneath the bathroom floor to rot. And they are actually the floor joists that are above me in this ceiling here. And what that means is that unfortunately we're going to have to pull up the entire floor and replace these enormous joists. Now, thankfully, the incredible artisans that are working on restoring the charpont in the roof have agreed to come and do this work for us over the next couple of days. And what they will do is they'll have to replace all the rotted wood in the floor joists, put down new floor joists. It will give us a nice new solid foundation for the bath. The bath will be nice and stable, but it will mean, as I said, that we will have to replace the floor as well. So this is really quite a setback, an incredibly unpleasant surprise. But in good news, we're actually making not so bad progress up there. We've removed all the peeling paint on the ceiling in both rooms. We've replastered the ceiling in both rooms. We've started working on replastering the plaster cornishes, which are very, very damaged. And very excitingly, we've also started working with Farrow and Ball to start choosing the paint colours and the wallpapers for the bedroom and the bathroom. But this is quite a setback and these things kind of seem to have a way of happening here at the Chateau and we just have to tackle them head on when they do. So we're upstairs on the first floor of the Chateau and in the bedroom and bathroom that we've been working on for five months now. It's taken so much longer than we expected and I'll take you through the, those reasons. But a bit of an overview, the inside of the chateau, as per the outside of the chateau, is classified. And what that means is it's protected. So any work that we do first needs to be approved. And the reason for that is to ensure that the interiors of the chateau are restored in a manner that's honest to the chateau's 18th century origins, but also that we don't do any damage to any existing elements that still remain from the 18th century. So for example, we first need to check what the original paint colors were for the room. So peel back the layers of more recent paint to see if we can locate the original paint colors and the wallpaper panels, remove the panels, remove carefully remove all the more recent wallpaper to check if there's any remaining elements of the original wallpapers. In this room, 
there really wasn't any of those things that we needed to worry about. The wallpaper had long been removed, although the original 18th century Hessian backing that the wallpaper was positioned on is still here in place. And so we've restored that and we're reusing that. And that's provided one of the challenges in this room, in fact, because as you can see behind me here, the wallpaper panels are quite enormous. So they're nearly three meters high. This one extends the full length of the room. And the reason it was designed like this in the 18th century is to create a void between the wall and the wallpaper and act as insulation. So this particular bedroom has the wallpaper panels on every single wall, except obviously the, the large window behind me that goes out into the southern side of the chateau and it has this beautiful view across the English park behind us. The bathroom is exactly the same so it has wallpaper panels on each of the walls. The challenge that that presented us with in the bathroom was how can we put a shower in a bathroom that has to have its wallpaper panels retained. So what we decided is to not put a shower in this bathroom so that the wallpaper panels for the bathroom are not disturbed and could be properly restored and kept. We've put a beautiful clawfoot bath back in not yet, we will. So this is the clawfoot bath. This was actually found in that bathroom. So we've repainted it to match the colors of the bathroom and this will go in tomorrow, which is amazing. So the plumber comes tomorrow and will install all the, um, the toilet and the bath and so on. There still remains uh, some of the electricity work that needs to be done. But today is super exciting because I think we will get the remaining wallpaper Hessian panel back up be able to put the backing paper on top of the Hessian backing and then lay the wallpaper. So all the wallpaper panels in this room are actually ready to have the wallpaper hung except for the panel to my left here. So fingers crossed we'll get it done today. We've been working like crazy actually over the last couple of days and so um, I could basically cry. I'm not sure if it is tears of joy or tears of exhaustion or a combination of both I think probably. but. While I'm talking about the wallpaper panels, one of the other great things about needing to take them down to work in this room is that it allowed us to get the electricity behind the panels. And actually it's a really neat solution for the rooms that do have the wallpaper panels because it creates very little disruption to the boiserie or the, or the structure of the chateau. So a really exciting day for us here actually to get the wallpaper hung in this room. It's such a huge step forward and such a um, an incredible thing really after the months and months of work to get this room even close to the point of being able to to hang wallpaper so it's off to work for us It's the end of the most enormous day. We're all completely exhausted. So as I said at the start of the day, the priority was to hang the wallpaper where there were power points and switches so that the electrician could come in tomorrow. We've managed to achieve that just, I think it's going on 7.30 and we just got there, hang, hung the last one just now. Um, we did the huge back wall here, which is, such a feat and so challenging because the the building just nothing is aligned we used a laser leveler and still it was very challenging to get the pattern exact but it's absolutely perfect we're thrilled to bits the room really looks incredible tomorrow the electrician will come in put in all the power points and we'll keep going we've got uh four more walls to do before it's done oh but it looks really good the paper is just uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything so beautiful. It's really just so incredibly stunning. So um, we're really thrilled to bits. See you tomorrow.
So it's the end of another huge day here, trying to get the premier etage bedroom and bathroom finished. So the, to be honest, we didn't get as far through as things as I would have hoped today. The, um, the electrician has been and installed these beautiful power points and light switches in the bedroom, which is fantastic. But we still need the sh two chandeliers hung. We still need two appliques hung. Unfortunately, when we had a closer look at them, the wiring was far too old to use. And so they're currently being rewired at the moment. One of the pairs is actually an old candle holder. And so it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, the plumber's been and he's installed the toilet. However, the piece of wisery behind the toilet was in terrible condition and it and had to be um, replaced. And so he's reworked the boiserie for there and he'll be here on Monday to replace that. And then the toilet will be finished. And it's this beautiful retro style toilet with this lovely high cistern, which suits the room so perfectly. The taps for the bath have been installed. These gorgeous freestanding Hudson Reed taps. The bath, as you can see, is not here. We've repurposed the beautiful clawfoot cast iron bath that was originally found in this bathroom. The wallpapers, whilst they're now hung, they need to have their frames. They have beautiful wooden frames that we need to install around them. When everything comes down and we finish the two rooms, I'm going to walk you through these two beautiful wallpapers that we chose with Farrow and Ball to use in these rooms. They've both got beautiful 18th century motifs on them and so I'm going to talk you through the process of choosing those along with Farrow and Ball and along with our architect. It was a huge team effort. And so the next step is really to get the final touches done for the electricity, the final plumbing bits and pieces, sort out how we can resolve this puzzle of making this old claw foot bath work with the modern day plumbing when none of the connection points are the same size and so on. So the plumber's gone off to spend the weekend trying to solve that riddle and hopefully, fingers crossed, at the start of the ne next week, we will finally, after five months, have this bedroom and bathroom finished. Yeah, imagine that if it didn't fit through. <laughs> Get out of here. So is that pocket going to hit on? No, it looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And put my foot in that way. Right? Come, what do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous. And so here we are, these absolutely beautiful rooms finally restored. So now let's have a chat about the gorgeous wallpapers and paints that we used in this room and the process that we went through to select these. So in the bedroom here, we've used a Farrow and Ball wallpaper called St. Antoine and the Farrow and Ball wallpapers are printed on sustainable paper stock and with actual paint and it gives the paper this beautiful, rich texture. This paper, St. Antoine, the reason that we chose it is it was originally produced in 1793 and therefore is the exact same 18th century epoch as the chateau. And so it just fits, it just sits so beautifully into the setting of the chateau. It's a gorgeous damask with birds and lovely floral bouquets. And it's really just so divine. The paint that we've matched it with is exactly the same paint colors that we used in the bathroom. So to create a symmetry between the two rooms, we use the same paint colors with one difference, the finishings. In the bedroom, we've used a matte finish, which would have been the 18th century finishes. And in the bathroom, we've used a semi-gloss for the paint to be more durable in the wet area. 
The 18th century paint colours of the chateau were black skirting boards and then very subtle colour differences in mainly greys in the colours used for the boiserie. And so here what we've chosen, after so many hours in meetings with Farrow and Ball's incredible colour consultant in Paris, his patience and knowledge was just unbelievable and guided us to the perfect solution for these two rooms. So the darker colour we've selected is called Hardwick White and the lighter colour is called Drop Cloth. And here in the bedroom, we've used the finish called Dead Flat and it just is this lovely, lovely chalky matte finish. In the bathroom, we used exactly the same two colours, but the finish we selected was Estate Eggshell, which has a light sheen to it, except for on the bath. The finish that we used for the bath is the modern eggshell finish, which means it's a higher gloss and it's much more durable for the bath. The wallpaper that we chose in the bathroom, it's just so beautiful. So this is Farron Ball's Park, and it's like a meadow of wildflowers. And I find this so beautiful in this room because when you open the large windows above the bath, you see straight out to the chateau woods and the birds chirping and it just marries the inside and outside so beautifully. And it's a really soft floral motif taken from an 18th century design. So again, fits in beautifully with the epoch of the chateau. The curtains that you can see behind me are actually curtains that we found here at the Chateau, as are the tie backs and the ropes. And these are just so glorious, so we decided to use them in this room. These curtains are a beautiful, rich, heavy velvet, which to be honest, I think is probably a little too rich for this room. And so in the future, when we have a chance, we'll, we'll have some Louis says curtains designed and installed here. And the same goes with the bed. But the incredibly luxurious linen that you see on the bed is provided by Yves Delorme. And then the towels that we have in the bathroom are also beautiful Yves de Lorme towels. And so there you have it, these two incredibly beautiful tranquil rooms in the middle of this crazy restoration project where we don't even have a roof on half the chateau. But I'm going to include a link in the description below to all the products that we've used in these rooms, including the absolutely stunning Farrow and Ball wallpapers. But for now, time to enjoy this glorious bath. <laughs>